And a very good evening to all my viewers. It is Saturday, February 18th, 2023. It's exactly 9.33 p.m. Eastern. And we are here aboard Exo Route 130, going across the Samuel Duchamp Plain Bridge, heading northbound towards Montreal. Very beautiful bus, this. It's a mini bus. According to the website, I was checking the bus rosters. This bus is only two years old. It was built in 2021. I'm not sure if it was built in that year or purchased in that year, but definitely looks new. And I'll give, give you guys a view of the bus when I get off. I um, took a bus to Delson tonight. Same style bus, same route. And now I'm taking it back and we're heading, like I said, northbound. Heading northbound towards Montreal and we're on the Samuel de Champlain Bridge and the camera is facing east. Very beautiful view of the city coming up. And by the way there's the pedestrian path for the bridge. Usually this bus would go by Panama Terminus, but tonight, because nobody's getting off at Panama Terminus, it's going right to Terminus Centreville or downtown Montreal Terminus. And by the way, one of the cool things about this bus is the windows. Interesting how they open and close. Very practical. find out from my fellow transit buddies who work in this area and who know this area what bus this is exactly, what year, what make and model. Just confirm that it's actually from 2021 and it looks relatively new. So the thing about mini buses like this, first of all we do have them in the STM but they're only, they're handicap buses and they're also for St. Anne de Bellevue. The 200 route in St. Anne de Bellevue. And also, the thing about these mini buses is they're, they're nice and they're comfortable, but as soon as you hit the city, and the roads aren't the best in the city of Montreal, I can tell you that. It's very bumpy. But when you're on a smooth highway or a bridge like this one. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's Ile de Sor REM station, Lens Island REM station. Finishing touches should be opening in spring. Yeah, but when you're on, uh, like I said, when you're on a bridge or highway, very smooth at night. We're about to get a nice view of the Samuel de Champlain Bridge. It will be out this window. So now we're on a curve and we're going in the east direction. And then we're going to be going once again in the north direction before going into Terminus Centreville, which is, by the way, connected to Bonaventure Metro Station on the orange line of the Montreal Metro. Always nice to point that, you know, these details out. A lot of my viewers know these things. They're aware of these things because they're transit fans and they are Montreal residents or at least in the area of Montreal. But for viewers that are not familiar, it's always good to point details out, you know. There it is, Samuel de Champlain Bridge. Beautiful lights. And those are lit up to help the bird migrations. So the birds don't get disorientated. And those lights change color as well, depending on if there's certain themes or concepts or special days. Like, for example, Canada Day, it turns red. So we're coming up now to... Bonaventure Expressway. You can see the downtown core from here, this window. Yes, it is a very bumpy ride, as I mentioned, under its bumps. So, 
There's the Victoria Bridge out that window. And of course, trains take that bridges, and also some some uh, exo buses as well. I think at least one or two of them. But that tr that bridge is a very old bridge for trains, and I think the traffic part on the left and right side of the, the train tracks, I think, was added later on. I have not seen any trains being tested on the REM tonight, the REM. So there might not be any testing going on. I guess some days they do take off, a certain hours, certain times, certain days. And now coming up, we're going to see the Old Port of Montreal. And in the distance, the Jacques Cartier Bridge, which is also illuminated. There's the main part of the port where a lot of shipping containers go, at least one of the main parts. And there's the five roses. Flower facility. That, lot, that sign up there is a landmark of Montreal. Right there. Very famous Montreal landmark. And definitely something that if you live in Montreal, you could see it from pretty far away. So now we are officially in Montreal, the downtown core. We went across the St. Lawrence River. That's the river that was under the bridge earlier. And now we are entering the main part of downtown. Sort of the southern part of downtown Montreal. And that video that I filmed earlier, the ride going to Dawson, I'll also post that not sure if I posted it yet, or I'll post it later, depending on when you're watching this. So it's so the bus was early. Actually, it was supposed to get there at 9:50 p.m. 9:55 p.m. Right now, it's only 9:40. So not bad. This system that they use for the buses, for the stops and the times, it's called Chrono. The chrono system is called. And the chrono system is, I think, part of, I think it's run by EXO. And this is the system that's going to be taking over everything. We used to have the iBus system, it's in, still the STM uses, but I think slowly chrono's taking over. And you're going to see new fare readers installed in other buses. Already got them in the STM. And I'm going to tell you something right now. This the, the chrono the chrono system itself is superior to iBus, and not only not only do I think that, but I know a lot of transit fans think that as well. So it's a pretty pretty anonymous pretty anonymous. I think EXO EXO chrono system is definitely superior to the old iBus one. Um, so we're uh, so what we're doing now. We are going to be heading down the street, then turning slowly into the garage, the main garage of Terminus Centreville. You're going to see the garage very shortly. We're going to be going inside. And then when I get inside the garage, I'll show you a view of the bus from the outside so you can see it. Very nice blue color. The one I took earlier was red. Here's a new skyscraper that they're building. So here we are turning left at St. Jacques. This is St. Jacques Street. And there is former Radisson Hotel. Up top, where it's sort of like a head. They used to rotate around. There was a restaurant up there at one point. Now it's been converted to apartments or something, or housing. And there's Hotel Bonaventure and Plaza Bonaventure. Also, Central Station, where the trains go. Exo trains, Via trains, and the REM trains will be going there. Some beautiful pictures have been released of the station. And in fact, it should be opening up in spring. Not sure what date, but by June 20th, because that's the first day of summer, June 20th. That might be right before it. Might be 
Remember, spring starts as well in March, late March. So it could be between late March and mid June that we'll get the REM opened up, the South Shore branch of the REM. And uh, testing's been, I guess, going good. There's more trains coming to and from Montreal recently. Here's the Mansfield Terminus. This is the Mansfield Bus Terminus. This is only active during the week. And what's going to happen is once the RAM is built and in service, completed, and it's in revenue service, a lot of these bus routes are going to be either changed, merged, or they're going to be abolished. So this Mansfield Terminus and all the buses that are here that survive the cuts because of the RAM, all the buses that survive are going to be moved into Terminus Centreville that we're about to go into now. And a lot of the routes in Terminus Centreville that are there now are going to be completely, like I said, abolished or merged as well. And here we are, we're going into the, the garage, we're going into the station, the bus station. So this is an interior garage. I always love that buzzing sound when the bus enters. Okay, so we're going to get off. And... I'll quickly show you the best from the outside. I'll let everyone off first so I can show you. So these are these are very this is a very old garage this one. But uh, it's been renovated on and off a few times. Right. So we're gonna get off here and then we're gonna go into Bonaventure Metro. And from Bonaventure Metro, we're gonna be meeting a fellow YouTuber, Chunky. Chunky Potato, that's his YouTube name. Merci. There's what our bus looks like from the outside, our mini bus. Oh, there's the number there, 8210SM. Nice, beautiful bus. Merci. So here we are, Terminus Centreville. This is the actual passenger area. So hope you enjoyed that ride. As I always say, if you like what you see, remember, hit the like button, hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and as always, more videos to come. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night, and uh, more videos to come.